Hey there everyone, and welcome to this third episode of G-Tech. And today I'm going to be recording a lot of videos, so bear with me if I get off track. This is the first video of a batch that I'm going to make tonight, so that I don't have to make them later. So today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a normal Wii remote that comes with any Wii, or you can buy separately, with your Mac to play Super Nintendo and original Nintendo games. Now what this means is you can take a normal Wii remote and pair it up to your Mac and play these old games using the new remote. So you don't have to use a keyboard or anything. So here's how we do it. First thing you're going to need to do is download Darwin Remote. And you can get this in, this in the video description. So just go to the description, click on the download, and it'll download. Next thing you'll need is um, an emulator of your choice, which could be Nestopia for NES games or SNES 9X for SNES games. Now, it doesn't have to be these two, but those are the two that I would recommend. So after you have all three of those downloaded and installed, you'll need to go into the emulator that you want. So for this one, we'll choose Nestopia. And you'll need to load up the game that you wish to play. Now, legal notice, only download ROMs that you can legally own. For example, I have the Super Nintendo, or never mind, I have the original Nintendo Super Mario Brothers cartridge right over there, and as you can see in the PvP window, I have it in my hand, so that's proof that I have it. I also have all these other games, but that would be way too much to show. So after you have that downloaded and you have it open in your uh, emulator, you will need to go to your emulator's preferences, and for this one you go to joysticks and hit configure keyboard. Now you'll need to set up your keyboard so that it reflects what a normal uh, NES remote would look like. So I have mine set up with the arrow keys here, A and B on comma and period, enter is start and uh, slash or backslash or forward slash or whatever it's called is select. So um, you can look in the description as well for what I bind my keys to so that you can use that as a guide. So after you have that all set up, go ahead and close your emulator and switch back over to Darwin Remote. And once this is open, hit Find Remote and on your Wii Remote hit 1 and 2 at the same time. And it should pair up, which it did. Uh, and then you go into here and choose Preferences. In here you'll need to uh, click Add and then type in a configuration name. So for example, I chose Nestopia. And in this window, sorry for moving that on you, but in this window you will uh, go to Key Mappings and this is where all the magic happens. So again, look down in the description box because I don't want to explain all of this. Now, after you have that all set up, you can keep uh, Darwin Remote open and go back into Nestopia or whatever your emulator is load up your ROM and then you'll be able to use your Wii Remote as if it was a remote for that system so example I can hit 2 I thought it was home there we go and uh, I can run around using the Wii Remote, so it's pretty cool. Um, that's about it, but I will show you my SNES key mappings here in a sec. I'll just die here. That was pathetic, but oh well. Um, let's switch over to SNES 9X, and we will load... What do we want to load? Hmm. We will load X-Men. I also have this one, as you can see, in the PvP window. So, oh wait, I forgot to tell you that when you switch between your emulators, you need to go into Darwin Remote Preferences and switch to the uh, settings that you have set for that emulator. So now that I'm back on that, let me just switch back over to here, and it should be set up and ready to go. So let's get this going so I can show you. So we will choose Gambit. So 
There you go. Now I'm using it as a Super Nintendo remote, but I'm using the Wii remote. So it's pretty cool. So, just to show you, I can throw the cards. I can jump. Um, I have the B button set to what the SNES A button would be, but you don't use that button in this game. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching this video, and if you need any help with setting up your uh, with setting up your emulator or with setting up your Wii remote, just comment or email me at gavin at gavinrosscamp.com, or you can uh, reply to me on Twitter at gavinrosscamp, which I always keep open over here, and I'll be sure to help you. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.